all right guys welcome back to this fourth video of Django tutorial series um, let's just recap what we did in the last video so we learned how to create this my site app and we learned basically about these different files that are inside the my site app and we learned how the project structure works so just to make sure that you guys understand that I'm going to give you a quick recap so after running the server, we get this kind of an output. So what happens when this uh, URL is typed in into our browser? What happens is it first goes to our uh, project file, project folder, that is the personal website folder. It goes to the urls.py of that personal website project folder. Then it checks the URL patterns. The URL pattern is not admin. It is actually just hello. So what it does is it goes to this uh, second pattern which says, hey, if it's not admin, include this mysite.urls. So it goes to this mysite app, it goes to the urls.py of this mysite, uh, mysite app, and then it checks the patterns over here and it sees, okay, so we have this hello pattern. What I need to do when I see this hello pattern is I need to go to this views.py file inside the mysite, mysite project so it goes to the views.py file over here and then it searches for this index function. So it goes to the views.py, it searches for this index function which says, hey, return an HTTP response, it basically means returns a text in our web browser which says hello world. And that is how this uh, response is returned. Now what if instead of this response, we want to return an HTML file? So for example, right now we have uh, only re like returned some kind of a text, but in web development, we have a lot of files, for example, HTML files, CSS files, JavaScript files. So where are these files kept and how do I return these files instead of this HTTP response? So that is pretty easy. What we do is, uh, if you remember at the starting, I told you this templates folder actually contains all of our static files, including HTML files, CSS files, and etc. But if we include all of the files inside this templates folder, if we make more than one app, for example, if we make my site app and if we then make blog app, forum app, if we make multiple apps, this is going to get a lot like confusing very, very quickly. So what Django recommends is that go to this my site folder and create a templates folder for this specific app. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to go and create a new directory. And we are going to call it templates and make sure you call it templates. You can't call it anything else because Django looks for this folder when uh, we want to retrieve our HTML file or something like that, uh, like CSS file, etc. So we're going to create a new folder and it's going to be called templates. After that, we need to do one more thing. What Django also says after creating that templates folder, you need to create another folder. Let's create another directory and the name of this directory should be the name of the app that it's, uh, it is inside in. So currently this templates folder is inside this my site app. That is why this new folder is going to be called my site. It's, it can't be called anything else. It needs to be called my site. So we have uh, inside our app, we have created this templates folder and inside a templates folder, we have created another folder, which is called as the name as of the basically the app that we have created. Now inside this my site folder, we can include all of our HTML files and etc. So let's create a new HTML file and we're just going to call it index. So this is going to create an index.html file. Now inside this, we are just going to maybe write something like uh, working and inside the body, we can just write um, hell yeah, it is working. Pretty cool. Huh? All right, this is going to be pretty cool if it works. If it doesn't work, then maybe you should go and take another course. <laughs> but anyways, uh, instead of this index.html file, let's go to the views.py file. Now, because we are returning this HTML file and not just a text, uh, we need to change this HTTP response to something known as render. So now we're just going to remove all of this stuff from over here because we are not going to be using HTTP response. That is for kids and now we are not kids anymore. We are becoming an expert in Django. So we are going to remove this from here and we're going to just like in the HTTP response, we are going to create a new function and let's call it uh, index function just like in the previous one. And uh, inside this, we are going to give it the same argument of request. And inside this, we are just going to return render, render and 
over here you can see it uh, requires more than one uh, more than one parameter so first parameter is request which we are getting inside this index function and the second parameter is the template name which is basically this my site and index.html so we're just going to write render and make sure before you write this render this line is uh, at the top which says from django.shortcuts import render if you don't import render first obviously it's going to give you an error so we're going to write request over here and then we're just going to write the name of our uh, basically the name of our project that is my site that is inside this templates folder we're just going to write my site inside double quotes or single quote whatever you want we're going to write my site and over here we are just going to write index.html okay one more thing before we even go further is as you can see right now it says template file my site not found so let me just actually remove it and what we need to do which we haven't done in the previous videos is add this my site app inside the settings.py file of our project so if you go to our personal website go to settings.py as you can see there is this thing called installed apps over here which says this is application definition so whenever we add something inside uh, installed apps, Django can recognize it, uh, rec recognize that app basically, and it can help us basically find the files. So whenever you make a new app, for example, we made an app called my site over here, but we haven't added it inside uh, installed apps, uh, this, this array basically. So what we are gonna do is we are just gonna write over here, my site, put in a comma, and that's pretty much it. We have just added our my site to our installed apps. So if we make another app, for example, like blog or something, then we can also add like blog over here. We, we haven't created it yet, so I won't add it over here right now. But if you create it in future, you can just add another app over here. Now that we have added our in, uh, app inside the installed apps, what we can do is we can go back to our views.py and now over here, we can just add my site. Now we can see it's actually kind of help PyCharm is helping us out uh, with this folder that is my site and then after that we can just type index.html and that's pretty much it Let's actually see if it's working or not So we haven't stopped the run server uh, And most of the times not always uh, This run server automatically refreshes itself. So let's see if it has refreshed itself So let's press enter and as you can see the title says working question mark and it says hell. Yeah, it is working pretty cool, huh? All right, so now our HTML file is being returned, but I want to make sure that you guys understand what I am meaning or what Django is meaning by this word render and what is this meaning of request. So request basically means if you are accessing this website, let's say I'm just a user, I'm a typical user who is browsing this personal website and I press enter. When I press enter, the user who is browsing the website sends a request to the server. Uh, the server is basically where we will be hold, uh, hosting our website. So the request is basically the data sent by the user to the server where we'll be holding the website. So this is the request. And then what is this render over here? Render basically means, hey, take this index.html file and make sure it looks like a website. So it basically takes this code and it renders it into something uh, that a user can read properly. So it doesn't show this HTML head and stuff. It basically removes all of that weird stuff and just shows you this pure web data. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So in this video, we were able to uh, just add our index.html files uh, in our web browser. So this looks pretty good. In the next video, what I'm gonna do is maybe add some kind of a navigation system or maybe some kind of a navigation bar over here. So for that, uh, we need a little bit of an idea of web development, but, but we'll discuss that in the next video. Let's not take it in this video. Uh, so guys, this is pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one.